Olympus have a service centre based in Bolton, which is where I'm based, and here we have a dedicated service training centre. Approximately 18 months ago, this was completely refurbished with a new training room fit out, which has got an item of equipment for each Olympus product that I need to train on. Generally, when an engineer first joins Olympus, they will come to me usually for a period of two weeks. They would do one product each day, and for each product they would learn comprehensive repair, which involves understanding the main features of the product, how to take that product apart and access the main components in order to repair them and how to reassemble the product and then to carry out a full functional test to make sure that everything is working correctly post repair. At the end of the training session they take a small test. The test is administered on the training database and consists of a number of questions about the product. They need to score 80% in order to pass. There's also then a practical assessment which I carry out on that engineer and the two scores combined is what gives them their licence. A training licence lasts for three years, so once an engineer has been trained, that record will be on the database, and the database will automatically flag up that somebody is due for relicensing. Relicensing will take one of two paths, depending on the engineer's exposure to a piece of equipment over the previous three years. So if they've carried out numerous repairs and there have been no quality issues with those repairs, the relicence can be granted automatically. If they've not had exposure to that piece of equipment, then they will come back to me for some refresher training. And depending on the, uh, the engineer's knowledge of that piece of equipment, it will either be a complete retraining or it will just be a quick refreshment of the main features. Training isn't confined solely to the Olympus products. We do cover some of the multi-vendor products as well. I'm trained on the Alaris infusion devices and therefore I'm qualified to pass that training down to the uh, engineers. I've also received training from Johnson & Johnson who have a product called an intracranial pressure monitor. So wherever possible we try to get original equipment manufacturer training so that then we've got the first hand knowledge and skill on that product and then I can take that knowledge and cascade it down to our engineers.